Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape, if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Don't worry, Spyro. Sheila won't stay in jail forever. The sorceress is thinking about having her executed next Thursday. Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Sorry, Spyro. It is my sworn duty to make certain no one crosses these bellows, and you know perfectly well that nothing could ever sway me from obeying my sworn duty. But that is, <clears throat> until you find a few more gems. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted, counting gems. What else are you going to do with all those gems? Buy flying lessons? <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Ah, I haven't made such easy money since the sorceress mistook that mayonnaise for sunscreen. Well, Spyro, it's good to see you. This gate I'm guarding happens to be the secret entrance to an egg thief hideout. Of course, I can't let you enter with a clean conscience. At least not without paying a small fee. Spyro, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for a small finder's fee. Very well, Spyro. It's up to you. Maybe if we both just hold hands and think happy thoughts, the thieves will decide to return the eggs themselves. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. I guess those egg thieves are going to get what's coming to them. It's too bad. I always sort of liked those guys. Get away from me, dragon. You've got no money. Come back when you find some gems.
Ha! My good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. Oh dear, Spyro, you really should pay up. I think he's pining for the fjords. <laughs> what a sucker! Uh, but that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done. And, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Just between you and me, Spyro, I'd love to let you into the ice dancing competition for free. Really, I would. Unfortunately, however, the upkeep on my Zamboni costs a fortune, so I'll have to ask you to find more gems before I let you in. Step right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on Earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. What? You don't want to pay? What are you saving your money for? Another sequel? I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. I have to hurry in myself. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. I can't let you through. You're too poor to pass this door. Come back with more cash. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. That gummit dragon! Just cough up those stinking gems, and I can go home. made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Stop talking to me. I hate speaking in haiku. Just go find some gems. Reef Dragon, what happened to all your money? How am I supposed to swindle... <laughs> help you if you can't find any gems? Ha <laughs> ha! The sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Very well then, I was having a rather good time poking him with a stick anyway. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now! You had better hurry up and find some cash, Spyro. Today's cat hockey match is about to start, and I can't let you in without a ticket.
Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. Off you go, then. But you'll regret it. Many years from now, you'll sit on your old dragon haunches and wish with all your might for just one more chance to see a game of cat hockey. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. <laughs> Hate to spoil the game for you, Spyro, but I've already bribed the local team to forfeit to the Rhinox. Say, Spyro, if you had a bit more money, I think I could make a deal with the wizards to raise these steps. I'm afraid that's the only way you'll be able to get to the castle. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Suit yourself, Spyro. But every time I think of that poor, poor fairy princess being captured by those villainous wizards, I simply break down in tears. have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to. You know, come to think of it, the wizards only agreed to raise the steps. They never said they wouldn't lower them again. <laughs> Those guys are pretty clever, aren't they? Hello there, Spyro. How do you like my new Space Monkey action figure? Incredibly lifelike, don't you think? You'd almost think he was actually intelligent. <laughs> I suppose I might consider selling him to you. But you'll have to come up with a bit more cash first. Well, well, Spyro. Look what I have here. It's a life-size Space Monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. You don't want to free him? Oh, what's the matter, little dragon? Are you just jealous that no one has ever made an action figure out of you? Ha <laughs> ha! You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Ah, oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out. Could there? These gnomes think they're so talented. I happen to know a pretty good magic trick myself. It's called the Incredible Magical uh, Extending Bridge Trick. However, you'll need a few more gems to make a donation. After all, I am just a poor, starving amateur magician. Spyro! 
Did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. Very good. Ha, ah, let's see. Hocus Pocus, Ziggledy Zen, make this bridge get long again. I'm afraid the show's over, Spyro. Why don't you go play with the gnomes? I think they look lonely. I am dreadfully sorry, Spyro, but I can't let common riffraff into the tomb of the stone golem. Only the crustiest of the upper crust may pass through here. Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem, but it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's just as well. I've heard there are enough riches inside this tomb to pay a dragon's ransom. Uh, so to speak. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! Okay, there was no password. I was standing in front of the wall switch. What are you going to do? Sue me? Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back at Avalar. Uh, uh oh. Why are you looking at me like that? I, uh. <laughs> I've got to be going now. Two lords! Drat! Double drat! Drat, 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 drat! I never knew dragons were so fast! That's it! I give up! I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet! <laughs> <laughs>